Hey, welcome back. Andrew here with Ambient Endeavors. And man, as I'm thinking back on the last handful of months here, it's been really, really fun to get to do the video projects, uh, explore the gear and work with the companies I've gotten to work with uh, recently. Just a fun string of videos uh, from the most recent, the Walrus Fable uh, pedal that I demoed, uh, the newer Strymon Cloudburst, getting to play some new guitars from Fender and Squire and um, to demo a, an amp from Line 6 that I think is a really phenomenal piece of gear. So go back and check out some of those videos if you haven't. Uh, if that was the way you found this channel and subscribed, thank you so much uh, for that, for the support. And what I'm wanting to do today is just kind of pause and say a huge overarching thank you to all of you guys who have checked out those videos, anyone who's come by and subscribed. Um, just for all the support that you've given the channel over the last handful of months here uh, and beyond. I've got some really, really fun stuff coming up. I've got a number of guitars that just landed all kind of at the same time that I'm going to be doing reviews and playing a bunch with. Uh, I've got some more videos from Line 6 and other companies coming out. There's just always, uh, always stuff being released and stuff to talk about, so it's a really exciting time. Uh, but the purpose of this video is to formally announce the giveaway that I'm doing. Um, if you have been on Instagram or around here even, you've heard about the giveaway. And so we're going to walk through the board. We're going to talk about all the pedals that I'm giving away and explain um, kind of why they, they made the cut. And um, I'm even going to give you guys the secret code word if you've done all the rest of the prompts for the giveaway. So stay tuned for that and check out the link below in the bio uh, to get signed up for that giveaway. It's really easy and quick. So first off, again, a huge thank you to all the companies and the brands that have helped make this possible. Um, they're a small sliver of really, really cool brands and people that I've gotten to work with over the last handful of years. Uh, and we'll just walk through each of the uh, products that got sent in, uh, each of the pedals that are on the board and, and all the rest of that and give you some sounds and I'm going to link some videos over there. I've done demos or videos from a number of these pedals already, so you can go back and check those out in the archives. Um, but yeah, let's go. So first off, big thanks to Temple Boards up in Canada for sending down uh, the Duo 17 board that all these pedals are mounted onto. They have really, really great system. Um, their boards are really lightweight, but also really rugged and sturdy. Um, I've got all the pedals secured with their pedal plates and there's a bunch of different mods that you can get through Temple. They sent over a couple for power and for ins and outs, um, but just to make your pedal board experience really streamlined and reliable and consistent. So huge thanks to those guys uh, and gals for sending the board down to uh, keep everything tidy. Um, I did all the wiring for the board myself. I'm using Mogami cabling and uh, pancake patch ends. I run a company called Analog Endeavors. I've done that for a number of years, um, and it's still something that keeps me busy uh, on the side uh, when I'm not making videos and, and uh, running Little Box. And we have a power supply sent over by Strymon. Thank you guys for providing the Ohi power. Um, high current taps for all uh, five outputs. Super slim, tiny uh, profile to fit under your board, and it's all mounted on the bottom side of, of the board already, so you're good to go there. Uh, from there, let's hit the uh, pedals. So we're going to start with the 29 Pedals Yuna. So this pedal is super special to me. Uh, it's special to Little Box, the uh, online retail store I run as well. Jesse and the and 29 uh, were one of the very first products that I started to stock at Little Box. He's been an absolute treat to work with. He's a really, really great guy. I'm making some really cool kind of studio inspired effects for your pedal board and, and really useful, great sounding units. So Yuna uh, is an awesome front end um, unity gain amplifier with three toggles that can affect your EQ uh, tone shaping on the front end. So it's really useful. If you're using different guitars during a set, just uh, flip one of these toggles or a couple of them to uh, make minor tweaks to your low end, to the brightness, um, that sort of thing. So really, really awesome unit. Um, I think that really everyone should have one of these on the front end of their board. It's awesome. From there, uh, Horothea effects over in the UK. Tom sent over this uh, Type 1 chorus. It is my favorite chorus. Um, I'm not a huge, huge chorus um, geek. 
I've tried a few of them. Uh, a lot of times they just end up being too chewy or too warm or muddy um, when I'm using them. But this pedal, it's inspired by the CE1, uh, so it's a really warm but still bright and sparkly course pedal. It's dead simple, you just have one knob and there's stereo outs if you want to do that too. It sounds great, mono or stereo. So huge thanks to Tom and Herothia Effects for sending this one over. From there we have the Benson preamp and this one is in the Little Box exclusive Powder Blue Sparkle. This pedal has kind of emerged as one of the, the most um, compelling overdrive pedals in the last handful of years. Uh, really feels amp like that it was modeled after their Chimera uh, front end. So you kind of get that feel of an amp uh, in pedal form. And it's just super versatile. I use it a lot for like lower gain, always on kind of textures. You can use it for that mid gain overdrive or even dial it up, kind of max the drive and get close to fuzz territory with it. So really versatile drive, sounds great. Um, I love this pedal. Moving on, my friends over at Walrus Audio sent over their Mako Series D1. Uh, it's a really killer, small footprint uh, multi-delay. So you've got five different modes. You have stereo ins and outs. You've got MIDI, presets, all that jazz. And it just sounds really good. Some of my favorite sounds in this pedal are the reverse. Um, some of the old vintage sounding effects uh, with modulation and you can adjust the uh, age of the delay and things like that. So just a really solid kind of workhorse of a, a delay in a small package. Thank you guys for sending this over. And then finally anchoring the board is the Alexander FX Space Force. Another super compact multi-reverb. You get a bunch of modes on here from the standard uh, hall plate type sounds to some more experimental uh, sounds with pitch shifting, modulation, uh, that sort of thing, lo-fi effects too. Uh, this is also stereo in and out. You can also do MIDI with it. There's a little screen on here to see what you're doing for menu scrolling and things. Uh, really powerful, uh, but space efficient uh, little reverb pedal. So the Space Force from Alexander, thank you guys. And that's it. I kind of wanted to make a compact, uh, you know, jack of most all trades board that can get you a ton of great sounds um, right off the bat. And so that's what we're doing. Uh, again, a huge thank you to all the brands who have been a part of this. Uh, thank you guys all for those who have entered already. And uh, please check the link below. Uh, to get entered if you haven't. Uh, the giveaway runs through March 27th. All the details are on the giveaway page, so check that out. It is open to North American customers only, so sorry uh, to bum out the international folks. Um, my aim and my focus at Little Box is really primarily bringing pedals from uh, other areas of the world into the North American territory and making those easier for people to get and find. So um, keeping that focus here too, and also uh, there's just a lot of headaches and expenses to get a big board like this uh, overseas. So I sincerely appreciate your support even still, uh, and hopefully at some point down the road we can find a way to do an international friendly giveaway here. Um, if you've watched this long, thank you for tuning in. The secret word for this giveaway is tone hat. Uh, there's someone in the comments um, started joking with me about the fact that I always wear this Carhartt beanie. I live in Minnesota and even in the middle of the March here, it's still like 20 degrees uh, above. So we're still like knee deep in snow and cold weather. So I just kind of rock this beanie most of the fall, winter, spring. So tone hat is the secret word. Use that to get some more entries in the giveaway. And thanks again for watching and for the support. Take care.